single like i'm sure sean mendez has his christmas songs everybody and also it feels a little bit like uh like a little too phony whereas those nostalgic christmas hits that sort of you know were the childhoods of the baby boomers who are you know now ultimately somewhat in control of parts of culture disagree <laughs> good morning everybody it is vlogmas day 16 and it is Lime Green Ruse Eights. Sorry if I said that wrong, but it is your birthday. Happy birthday today on December 18th. You have a Monday birthday this year. What are you gonna do? Are you going to work? Did you take the day off? Are you gonna do something fun? Happy birthday. <laughs> um, I am back at work myself today, which is unfortunate because I still don't feel like it. Bummer, but it's okay. You get through it, whatever. I'm about to open my David's Tea Advent Calendar, so let's check that out. All right, 16, where are you? Ah, there you are. Ooh, it's purple. S'mores chai, yay! This is one of Nina of the This Old Knit Podcast's favorite David's Tea flavors, so I am looking forward to trying this. Ooh, it's Pura. I don't know how to say it, but it's... Made with this tea called, I don't know why I'm showing you this, because you're probably not going to be able to see it because it's tiny. But um, there's this tea called P-U-E-R-H. And that's the base for this tea, and I really like that kind of tea itself. So cool, I'm excited. Definitely not going to try it today, though, because I'm still off of sugar. When I'm sick, I would like to try to avoid things like sugar and dairy and alcohol. Not caffeine. I do not want to give up caffeine. I'm still drinking coffee. <laughs> but um, so this has got some sugar in it. So I'm going to save it for later in the week when I feel better. But blah. Going to keep getting ready for work. I will see you on the other side. Um, I am dropping off all of the packages for uh, Moonstone Dye Works. Everybody who bought my Christmas yarn, your yarn is going into the mail today. Thank you, thank you so much to everybody who purchased my Christmas colorway this year, which is called Pine Cones and Holly Berries. Uh, I am really, really grateful to you all. Uh, there are still pre-orders up in the shop if you're interested. You can check it out at moonstonedieworks.com. Uh, all the ready-to-ship skeins did sell, but I'm doing pre-orders. They're going to ship out within, I say, within two to three weeks. I plan on dying... Uh, most if not all of the pre-orders this week though so hopefully they'll go out within a week of ordering instead of two weeks so hopefully you get it by Christmas um, but thank you so much to everybody who ordered uh, I really like this colorway and the colorway name inspiration came from uh, me trying to find a wintry Christmas but kind of like woodsy and like outdoorsy kind of um, phrase or word to use for the colorway name and I came across this Christmas song called Pine Cones and Holly Berries which I think is an Osmond family song and it was weird I'm gonna actually look it up because I kind of forgot but it's uh it's this other like really it's this popular Christmas song that I didn't know that was the name of it because those aren't like the main lyrics of the song. Okay, so it's that song. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And apparently the name of that song is Pine Cones and Holly Berries. I did not know that. Um, and it's not a Osmond family song. It was done before them, but they did it. And there's a video on YouTube of them singing that song. And it's pretty funny. Anyway, I loved the name. And so it became my Christmas colorway name for 2019. Um, yeah, okay. See ya later. Also, I did block my stockings yesterday. Um, I like blocking everything. I'm somebody who blocks every single thing that I knit just because I kind of feel like knitted fabric isn't quite finished until it's blocked. So I laid these out in front of the fire last night and they're mostly dry now. So they came out really, really big. They definitely hang lower than like the firebox itself. So we won't be able to hang them actually over the thing because it just rests on the top of it, which is no good. So we're gonna have one on either side and then I don't know where the third one will go, but we will figure it out. I really love how these came out. And I used a Knit Picks pattern. Um, 
for stockings, you can Ravelry it. I'm trying to start Ravelry as a verb, like Google it. You can Ravelry it. If you, <laughs> if you search for Knit Pick stockings, they'll come up. And I used Knit Picks, Will of the Andes, in the bulky weight. And I love them. They're great. Super excited about having stockings. Okay, real quick before I go to work, I'm sneaking in some rounds on this Christmas present that I cast on last night. So with my husband's family this year, we are doing a secret Santa. And I got, if any of my family members are watching, stop watching. Because I don't want this to spoil. You know that somebody's getting this, but you don't know what it is. And you don't know who it is. <laughs> but no one's watching. So anyway, um, I pulled my sister-in-law, my um, husband's brother's wife, who is an awesome and amazing human being. And so I'm making her fingerless mitts. So I cast these on last night. I'm using the Paddle Pattern by Tin Can Knits. So this yarn here is the main color. This is some hand-dyed DK weight yarn that was sent to me as a gift. And I don't think there was a tag originally, and I lost the note that said what it was. So I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. It's a tonal silvery gray. And then there's stripes on it. And for the stripes, I'm using this which is some leftover, I, again, I'm not positive what it is, but I think it's a leftover Two Guys Yarn Company uh, DK weight yarn. So I think this is gonna be a pretty great, and I'm really glad I started working on it. I'm doing this, and I'm also getting her a gift certificate to a local place in Arcata, which is a place that I absolutely love, called um, Cafe Mocha, and it's a Finnish hot tub and sauna place. If you're ever in Arcata, which is probably going to be two of you, um, go and you like hot tubs and saunas. It's a really great place. They have like, um, it's like traditional hot tubs and saunas made from redwood. And I love going there. It's an amazing place. Uh, it's really cool and old worldy. Maybe I'll try to go there because it's also a coffee shop. Maybe I'll try to go there sometime during Vlogmas and film some footage because it's a beautiful little spot. Anyway, um, I'm also getting her a gift certificate there in addition to these mitts. So I'm pretty excited that I got this going. I'm also watching one of my very favorite podcasters, Shevas from Chevy Real Stuff. She's doing uh, a snack box eating <laughs> with her husband, Dan. And I love these videos so much. She's done them one, once before. And this time she's got... Um, a snack box from Japan. It's a Sanrio snack box, and I am so envious. You don't even know. Like, I'm literally stupid green with envy, and I'm gonna watch this whole video and get mad, because it's not me sitting there with them eating this awesome Japanese snack food, because Japanese snack food is my favorite snack food, so I can't wait to watch. I love Chevis and Dan. You guys should totally check them out if you haven't yet, especially one of these cool snacky videos, because they are fun. Okay, now I probably wasted all my, um, my chill out time before I have to go to work uh, recording this video, so I'm probably going to go to work now. Okay, <laughs> love you, bye! All right, so I am home from work. Uh, Lucy is here. We actually just got back from feeding the pigs down the street, which I didn't take my camera for, but oh well. Um, her grandpa dropped her off and brought a little buck of, of apples from their apple tree in their backyard. And uh, we walked down the street to where the pigs live at a farm down the street and we fed the pigs. And now we're back. Uh, work was pretty good. I felt pretty bad for the first half of the day, but I feel better now, I think. Um, and <laughs> Are those my stockings? Lucy's walking on the stockings, that's okay. Uh, I wanted to pop back in one more time today to make a correction. Uh, for those of you who watched my Q&A video, which was Vlogmas Day something, I will insert it down here if you're interested in watching it and haven't watched it yet. <gasps> Thank you! Yeah, that's your stock. This is Daddy's stocking. Can you get me your stocking? It's the green one with the blue hearts. Thank you! That's your stocking! Okay, so on that video, I talked about kind of my knitting history and I showed a scarf that I said Colin had knit 
And I was totally wrong because I told him about that, that I said that on the vlog. And he was like, that's not the scarf I knit. You knit me that scarf. And I was like, oh. So, <laughs> correction, this scarf that I showed you um, earlier this month was knit by yours truly, apparently, and I just didn't remember. So I knit this scarf uh, out of some kind of like Red Heart, Lion brand, some like boucle or what do you call it? That like squiggle kind of yarn. And yeah, this was one of my very early knitted projects from the early 2000s probably. Um, and this was a gift for Colin and he still has it. And the scarf that I should have shown that uh, he had knit for himself back around the same time period is this one. Um, so this is Colin's pretty much, I think, one and only knitted project that he made back. And the story is in that vlog if you're interested in hearing about it in like kind of my knitting beginnings. But this is a scarf that Colin knit for himself. Um, uh, 15 years ago maybe? <laughs> I don't know what the yarn is. It's brown and black and it's probably the same kind of yarn like Lion Brand or Red Heart or something like that. Something we got at either Walmart or Joanne Fabrics I'm sure and uh, that is it. That's the correction that I needed to make. <laughs> Okay, so I, I guess that's it for today. Um, I am making tomato soup and baked potatoes for dinner, which is my version of not cooking because I really didn't feel like cooking tonight. So when I went to the store before work to get stuff for dinner, I, um, I picked that up because that was the easiest thing I could think of at the time and I think it'll sound I think it'll be pretty good since I'm not feeling that good and Colin's I think starting to get my cold so it's okay you missed it I was trying to catch squirrel in action she was batting at the Christmas tree anyway um, yeah so that's what we're having for dinner this is our Christmas tree and our cat in our windows and our purple couch and I will uh, see y'all tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 17. Lucy, do you want to show everybody my, what is that called? What are these things called? Doily? That's a doily! <laughs> I made that. Ooh, yeah, that looks nice. Thank you. Alright, I'm signing off for real now.